In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Clarius handheld ultrasound. So whether you're a clinician who's considering getting an ultrasound machine, or you're a potential patient who's wondering what type of gear I use in my clinic, then this video is perfect for you. If you're a clinician who's considering getting a handheld ultrasound, then I would recommend getting the ultrasound before you go on a course. Because what can happen is you go on a course, you learn some things, but if there's a gap between your course and then actually using the transducer, then you're going to lose those skills. So I've been using the Clarius device for about four weeks. I had prior experience using a machine which was potentially older than me. It was always a bit fiddly to get the controls right. And I didn't quite understand the controls either because my boss at the time, he never really gave me any training on it. I had attended a few courses, but it's very hard if you're not using it and getting the feedback to actually understand, like, are you doing it right? Are the images correct? And things like that. But that's where I think the Clarius is actually fantastic because there's a portal where you can check out videos on how to take certain images, for example, like lateral ankle stuff. So you can go through the video and you can do it at the same time as watching the video. And that way you can compare your images, see if your image is clear. You can see your hand position, where it should be, which way the uh, transducers should be facing. So it is really handy. One thing definitely worth mentioning about this device is that it's impressed my patients. Some of my patients that saw me in my previous clinic where I was using that older machine compared to now, where whenever I use the voice control, they're like, wow, that's cool. And then also when we're doing the AI mode where it comes up with the, the tendon and they can see it, then they are amazed at that too. For them, it's like really exciting to see cool tech coming into healthcare. And they are loving the fact that their podiatrist, their healthcare practitioner is using cool equipment too. To highlight the tendons for the patient to be able to see makes it really easy for education. Sometimes when you're pointing at the screen and there's the AI mode's not on, they can be like, oh, I don't know what I'm looking at. But when it's highlighted, it is clear exactly what it is. And the great thing is you can make the orange color that bit deeper so they can see it clearer, or you can bring it back so they can still see the tendon underneath. And it'll automatically take the thickness, which I think is a fantastic addition because before I was reaching over, the transducer slipping around, you know, I'm losing where I was, pressing the freeze button and then having to self-measure it. And you know, it's never that accurate, but with the AI mode, it highlights it nicely it takes an accurate measurement at the thickest point of the tendon. And often I like to take away the orange marker and just keep the normal picture because I wanna be able to show them what's going on within that plantar fascia. Whether there are micro tears there, whether there's thickening, whether there's some calcifications, whether there's a heel spur. So sometimes I'll take away the AI mode just so that the patient can see as well. So I think it's a fantastic feature and the fact that they're impressed is pretty cool for healthcare, isn't it? One thing that I've been struggling with is getting the gain right. So I'd say that at the moment I'm trying to work on getting perfect gain, improving my image quality. For things like plantar fascia and Achilles, you know, it's pretty simple, but I really want to get the gain right so that I can see clearly on the lateral ankle and be able to decipher what structure I'm looking at, what structure that I'm not looking at, and whether you know the transducer is in the right area as well. I'm trying to work through it like segmentally, trying to just focus on the easier stuff for me, the plantar fasci, the Achilles, the posterior tendon, and then gradually move into those harder areas like lateral ankle, maybe forefoot conditions as well. Like if a neuroma comes in, I definitely want to be scanning that. Things like that will be fantastic to see in the future, but I need to work towards that. I am going to be recording my journey of using the Clarice device, sharing with you the ups, the downs, uh, any mishaps that happen as well along the way. But for now, I'm really happy with my choice of getting the Clarius machine. Uh, and if you are looking to get one, hit the comments, let me know. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.